High Plains Prospectors, Terp, Scrap Iron, he's over there. I heard him hooting and hollering. I think our new XP Extreme Hunter came in. And I know Travis is extremely excited to get out there and take a look at it. All right. Been waiting for how long to get this thing? Yeah, well, I have been waiting for it for a little while. First off, what is this thing? Yeah, well, so this is the Extreme Hunter. This is the two box system they just came out with. Um, they've got two different models. You can get just the uh, coil, and this is the one that comes with uh, full-size headphones and the LCD screen. Um, so in this case, you probably would just then buy uh, a single coil and you would have the complete setup, um, whether you wanted to just do the traditional or the two box. But um, we uh, already pulled the receiver out of here. Um, and, um, you know, first things first, we want an update to the 2.0 or the dais. Uh, they sent out a, a, uh, a uh, alert, you know, letting you know to update that first before you put these uh into your uh coil um what happens if you don't do that you no know, i don't know i don't know that, <laughs> to be honest with you. but the, was it was like a assist, they, a system wide they failure sent them out, so i would you know just make sure that you uh update everything first before you link this up yeah so, up, uh, update your receiver before yeah. to the newer version before you try to connect it to this because they said there could be some some failure software failures maybe even i think yeah, is what they yeah. were saying so they've got um i noticed just right off the bat um it's weird they've got a charging cord in here that's probably not going to last forever so if you start not getting those here down two years down the road uh you know that's that's what it is um i noticed they've got this uh new charging cable here um it looks like it's got like a 90 degree which i think is kind of nice um, oh, that's for that headphone. Uh, I know what that is there. And then uh, you get your single cable C, and then looks like they give you a little screen protector or whatnot there for your LCD screen. You know, obviously you get the full size headphones, but uh, basically you can see here what you got is is a one coil sending and receiving, and uh, you'll put this together with this frame here and uh, then we'll uh, you know link it up to uh, my dais that i currently got it looks like we've got some hardware here some more charging cables so i had kind of already pulled through the manual here and obviously i suggest everybody going through this but um, just some of the kind of the things that i thought that just stuck out with me is is that um you know obviously you could use this for our, um, construction professionals you know architects um you know geologists you know there's a lot of other reasons why you might want to use this two box you know we're looking at uh, about five, five meters so about 16 feet in depth and uh so you can see we can now you know these guys people come to us and say you know i'm looking for a really deep targets you know then i typically will say you know two boxes where you need to be um They've got this set up here because you're using the actual multi-frequency simultaneously frequency here. And they've got this set up where this should just basically kind of null out the smaller iron that might be on top where you can now pick up some of the bigger objects. Um, I've also heard that it stabilizes a little bit in the past with the two boxes. Uh, moving it and, um, you know, a terrain um, that changes will often set these two boxes off. They can be kind of sensitive. Um, so um, the, you can make multiple adjustments with this. And I've seen um, you can also fit all this into the backpack if you want, uh, both of them, the 280 and the full size. Um, five year warranty. Um, so I just thought I'd point that out there. That's kind of nice. Um, obviously there's an online manual um, that you'll want to uh, open up. And it tells you how to put this together and it kind of gives you a graph is, is uh, it kind of gives you um, a four second uh, sort of um, graph that goes through your screen. And as you go over the target, it's going to sort of give you these hills and valleys. And um, it kind of gives you some general ideas about the depth and size of objects. And you can kind of start to learn that. And obviously, that's going to take a little bit of of time on you but you know some of the funny things in here you know obviously you can't use steel toe boots you're going to make sure that you don't got a belt on or your cell phone or you know your watch on any of that stuff here you got to remember uh, you know that's going to pick it up now it does say that it only detects lower than the coil not like metal detectors where you can detect above the coil 
But, um, you know, once again, I haven't even put this together yet, so we'll have to figure out that. Um, you just want to make sure that it's just at a good level pay, uh, you know, height of the ground. Um, you want to make sure that it stays level. It doesn't really do very well when you start getting it sort of off tilt. Um, and you want to just try to make sure, like, as you're going up a hill or whatnot, you want to try to make sure that you stabilize that so that you're kind of reading the contour of the ground. And I'll tell you, that, that will help you out quite a bit. Um, they have a motion and non-motion mode in here. I noticed that kind of quickly. Um, they've got some noise cancellation. Um, they're saying here that, you know, you can reduce the sensitivity down to 60 and 70 on this. So I will say, you know, we've got to remember to bring your sensitivity down on these. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're going to detect extremely deep. So if you've got objects that are deep, it's still going to detect them. You can always bring your sensitivity up as you go. Um, let's see. All right, we're back. We are out in the field today testing the XP Extreme Hunter deep seeking box system metal detector. And we have a per perfect, perfect spot for it. This is a location we've detected multiple times, found some really cool things out here. We've never used a uh, box system out here, anything deep, but this area was occupied for a long time in the 1800s. Um, there could have been, I mean, there was what, racetrack, brothel, hotel, all kinds of things here. Could possibly be something that was buried deep that's been missed by the detectorists that have been here year after year after year, even ourselves. It's a KT town, early Kansas territory before Kansas was a state. Yeah. So we're excited. We're going to try this thing out. And it's kind of a good thing we have it because, as you will see, they had corn on this property, which usually has soybeans this year and the stocks are high so we can swing that coil yeah and, yeah uh, be well, this would normally be annoying we're yeah really not gonna have any issues at all detecting with a normal detector sucks in this stuff but we're doing something different today <sighs> okay. so yeah, put this thing together yeah so um basically what you need to do is i take this under piece out and i stick that right back in there like that and you can see this is kind of snaked up through there and then this really only lines up one way here and the reason why I put it in here is because you really got to push this down a couple like until it gets in and out of there a couple times it's going to be tight mm -hmm. but you can see you've got to get those to sit in there so that you can get the screws in there oh I got you yeah and then this what I do is is I'll pull up you know and get as much as I can here and you've got to, you know, snake this through and get it to pop through there. So, you know, you can just kind of wheel it up there so it gets there. And then, you know, you just kind of pop it through there. And then once again, you got to just get this thing lined up so that it seats in there. And then you can see this little plastic piece and then that'll get it to sit back in there. And at this point, it kind of stays, you know, out there. But um, what I'll do is I just kind of leave it as it is. I'll put it in the first couple. These are at first kind of kind of confusing. They don't really give you the exact sizes, but they give you, what, four, five, six, six of these. And there's three different ones. So there's a pair of four. And so you guys can figure that one out. You get those out of there a pair of two and then there's one that's just kind of smaller and that's that one right there so you can just leave the longer ones to be for a little while get them started right here and you know like i said I'm, once you kind of get them in there once you know, I don't, I kind of wait to fasten them all down. The, once again, the same ones of the four. You go into here. Just remember to save the two long ones for the end and then the really small, short one that goes for the arm cuff. And then once again, this obviously plugs into here and, you know, just sort of kind of rotate it a little bit and then just wheel that on there and then you know this is gonna sit right back in that hole and then sit on there like that with 
of the longer ones. And then once you get that first one going, it's pretty easy. Those are long, but they want, they want it to sit in there real well. Okay, that, work it down. At that point, you've got it pretty much done. Got your coil anyway. Yeah, and then, you know. So this is the one that comes with it is a little shorter shaft. Correct, yeah, you can see here, this has got just this little shorter shaft Now is here. that, do they have a dive shaft too? Is that the same as the uh, dive shaft? You know, I don't know, but this has this little hole here that okay. seats, For and this. so, yeah, you know, I I'd have you. to remember, I, you know, I can't remember. Yeah. I know we have one at the shop, but once again, you're just going to push this down right through there and then seat that in there like that. And, you know, one of the things I'll tell everybody is you got this cap here and everybody loses this cap. But if you can remember to put this in the same spot every time and put this back on here, I can't tell you how many times I've heard people, they've got to go hunt the next day. And they will be walking around with this thing and they will clip it just barely against the countertop or the t something like that. And you break just this one little plastic piece in there and then your LCD screen yeah. doesn't sit So keep in track there. of this thing, protect it, and you won't be one of those people buying another you know, clip from us. And, I, and, and that's probably at the same time one of the most needed pieces yeah. we sell more that you would have than any in any the other XB parts in, in your bag just because if that breaks and you would want a small screwdriver out here but you could replace that yeah and not have to walk around with your LCD screen in your hand all day so how are you going to set it up are you going to snap your your uh control so, on that or? yeah and so we, we've already taken the time to put the uh the coil serial number into as a as our third coil for you know I have the other two so we already entered that in there. I think most people know how to do that by now, but you just go into pair your coils and, and you know, we can slap a little kind of root how to do that, but it's pretty easy. So I've got it in there already. And, and there, you know, once you turn it on, it's pretty self-explanatory, but you know, we'll set that on there. There you go. Are you going to start with your headphones or um, start without you know, them and see I how want, I, will, I do want to use the headphones because I think you're going to get a lot better performance, but at the same time, I don't think we're going to be able to get it on video. Yeah, yeah so I think let's try it without Well, it. you know what? If, or if you want to throw them on, and then we can kill those and but, repeat the signal Yeah, if we want yeah, to. That I way can you grab get, them. Yeah. I can grab them. So like I said, we've detected this property multiple times before. We found some really cool stuff out here, a couple coins, some interesting relics. And we know that this area is kind of a hot spot for stuff. Just right in here, maybe a 50 yard radius from where we're at right now. So this is where we're gonna start. Fired it. And we'll go non-headphones. Really, you can go both. Um, you can do both headphones and non-headphones so that you can hear it. We should do that. Probably should. And it gives it a second. It's looking for the frequency best use here. And then, you know, you're right into the menu. And then you'll start to see here. We're already picking up probably the car or something. I don't know. But, um... Yeah, I think we should just use it. Well. Let me have your shovel. I, I would consider that to be pretty deep. I mean, I think for all purposes, I think we should dig this one. Just to see exactly what what that is. Yeah. And, so the so you're using the same control box. So yeah. So you know, let's located a target with the extreme hunter. Same control box because it's linked to three coils. Yeah. So I've got three coils underneath this one. Um, and this really, I, I think, would be the best way to go at this is with with somebody. 
in, in somebody controlling a metal detector while somebody's walking and then bouncing back and forth and checking it with a metal detector. So that way you can kind of get an idea. You know, general mode in Deus is probably be perfect for this. You know, it gives you a good idea of big iron. And so all I did is just went back to my other coil, which I have right here. And, you know, and I can't remember. Where were we? Right, right around here. Right about here. And, and so there is iron here. And this is surface iron. Obviously a lot of iron here. Yeah. So, you know, what we're hoping is this is sort of nulling out the big iron or the iron on top, I guess, and just trying to give us deep. And to be honest with you, I, I you know, I'm still getting used to this, but I took my eye off of where our target was. Right. So, you know, I think, but it's just as easy as just going into options, going into your pairing, it's like that. And then I'm going to drop down once and I'm going to pick up two box. Try to relocate the... Yeah. We had to run back to the truck to grab the dais. Yeah, I think it's right. Definitely two targets, one there and one here. Yeah. It's not as deep as I was really, uh, I think now that we're rechecking it. Yeah. And, and, you know, with the detector, and I think, you know, at this point, uh, maybe we should skip this one. All right, so we dug up our first piece of iron. It wasn't very deep. We could tell by the, yeah. what the metal detector was telling us, but it is a large chunk of iron. Not a trade axe. No, nope, could have been. That's a good, that's a, that's in a, we're in the right direction. Yeah. 